Hi everybody and welcome to Gaming SEO. My name is Tristan and today I want to show you how to use a keyword report in order to create and optimize content for YouTube. So this is a pretty simple, pretty straightforward process, but it does help if you have a little bit of an explanation. And I kind of want to show you guys the different steps of how this actually works. And we're actually going to be optimizing this video right over here. And you can see that's already optimized, but I'm going to show you the process that we're going to be going through to actually do this. And one thing I do want to point out is that this is a brand new channel. This is literally the very first video that we're uploading to this new gaming channel. And we're also going after a very competitive keyword right off the bat. And so don't expect to see any super crazy rankings right away. So if you are brand new to YouTube, if you don't have, if your channel isn't very well optimized, or if you're going after very, very competitive keywords, this is kind of a guide of how to do that and the reason that we're making some of the decisions that we are but don't expect to rank for things right off the bat, okay? So just getting that out there, this isn't something that works instantly. This isn't something that will immediately take you from zero subscribers to a million subscribers in a day. I just wanted to show you the process, especially going after these more competitive keywords. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our keyword report. Now you can download this off of our website. You can also get it from our messenger bot. You'll find links to both of those in the description. And what we're looking at here is actually pretty simple and straightforward. This is the keyword which is going to be like your tag. It's going to be the main thing that you want to target. Over here you have your search volume. This is the average monthly searches for that keyword in Google. We don't actually have a way of seeing how many searches there are per month for a specific keyword or specific tag in YouTube. And so the best that we can do is we can use Google to help us gauge and estimate how many searches there actually are going to be and how much interest there is in that specific subject. These next two tiles, I'm not sure if these are going to be helpful for anybody over here, but this is the cost per click. So if you were to do a Google ad, then this is how much it would cost for every click that you would get in Google. And then this is how competitive the ads are. These are run through an auction. So for example, if the average cost for this is nine cents, if you pay 10 cents, then you're probably going to be showing up in the number one spot, or if you pay eight, you're probably going to be showing up like number three. So that's what these are. Uh, this will also actually affect how much you get paid in ad revenue once your channel is monetized, so that's something else that's helpful to take a look at. But again, for the majority of people who are watching these videos are probably not monetized yet. You're trying to reach that goal, but this is something you'll want to keep in mind as well. And then the next thing we want to look at is our SEO difficulty. Now this is a score from one to a hundred. Anything up to like a 35 is still relatively easy and there's a chance that it'll be able to rank for it without having to do anything too crazy. Anything above that is going to require a lot of extra work and that's when it starts to get expensive and that's when you want to start hiring professional SEOs to work on things. So for example, if you wanted to rank for Fortnite videos or Fortnite Daily, Fortnite Daily Moments, like if you want to actually rank for those in Google, then you're going to need professional help because that's, that's going to be difficult. What I would recommend specifically for new YouTubers is that you look for something that's like at a 25 or lower, you might be able to get up to a 35 if the video is very well optimized, which I'm gonna show you how to do, but it's not gonna be super easy. So just something to keep in mind, you're looking for easy and you're looking for high search volume. And a way that you can find that using Excel, just come over here to where it says sort and filter, and then go largest to smallest. Make sure you have the E column selected. So why Fortnite sucks, which Fortnite to buy and Fortnite tracker are probably gonna be your easiest keywords to go after. And Fortnite tracker actually has a lot of traffic, so that might be worth going after. Now, when you're looking through these keywords, the most important things that you wanna look for are going to be the search volume. You wanna look at the keyword itself and see if it's something that you can create content around. So for example, if you're going to be making videos about Fortnite cheats that you want to make sure you actually have access to the cheats so you can have something you know have some way of making that content and then of course your seo difficulty that's going to be how hard it is to actually compete in google and in youtube for these specific keywords now as i was looking through this the keyword that caught my attention the most because i suck at Fortnite was Fortnite ninja let's see if we can find that one again real quick right here and I like this keyword because it's probably the closest thing that I can do to something that's actually worth watching in Fortnite. It also has a fair amount of traffic and it's also a very competitive keyword. Again, I wanted to show you how to rank for a more competitive keyword with a weaker channel. And again, we're not ranking for this keyword quite yet, but I'm gonna explain some of that process here in just a minute and why we're still going after this keyword. So now that you've selected a keyword, the next step is to go out and make your video. Now, when you're actually making the video, you wanna make sure that you are actually using that keyword in the video. 
because YouTube is able to pull up subtitles and closed captioning for your videos. They're going to be looking for the use of that keyword. That way it can actually rank you for that keyword. Next, once our video is uploaded, then we want to make sure that our main keyword is, of course, the title of our video, Fortnite Ninjas. Now, because I am really bad at Fortnite, I decided to tweak this a little bit and turn it into Fortnite Ninja Fails. There's a lot less traffic for it, but once we have a little bit of watch time, once we have some metrics built up on the channel, then the video will start to rank as well for Fortnite Ninja. So we're really kind of planning really far ahead with the content of our channel. So that way, even though we're not able to rank for this keyword now, we will be able to rank for it in the future. So keyword in your title. And then you also want to make sure that you're using that keyword in the description of the video. So again, Fortnite Ninja right here. And then of course we want to add in some other things. So here's our Fortnite Ninja fail compilation slash funny moments video. Here's fail again, fail again, stealthy, which is going to be connected to Ninja. So we're trying to use some different variations of the keyword. We're trying to use some different ways of phrasing it, but we definitely want YouTube to read this and understand, okay, this video is about Fortnite Ninja fails. And then below that, I just have the, um, some information about the music that I'm using. Next up we want to do is we want to make sure that our keyword is in our tags. Now, one of the questions that I see the most is how to use good tags or how to use the right tags. And basically the easiest way to think about it is that a tag is like a category, okay? Or a group of videos. And so I see a lot of people using tags like the, of, and things like that. And what you're doing is you're telling the YouTube robot that this video is categorized with other videos about and and it's categorized or grouped up with other videos about the. And that's just not the way that the system's supposed to be used and it doesn't make any sense to the robot and just kind of ignores it and you're wasting space. So use keywords and use tags that accurately describe the content of your video and can help the robots to group it up into specific groups of videos. And what'll happen is when you have that grouping set up correctly, and when everything else in your content is based around that specific keyword or group of keywords, then YouTube will actually go and promote it using other functions. So one of the ways that you can get traffic in YouTube is through search, which is the main purpose of search engine optimization. We are optimizing for the search engine. The other two ways that you can get traffic is through recommended videos and then also through something called the browse features. Now browse features are your homepage things. Whatever shows up in your homepage, that's where it's gonna be. And then of course recommendations is when the video shows up at the end or alongside another video on the platform. Now because our channel is so small, because we're not able to compete for these, you know, for pretty much any of these keywords just because they are very competitive, then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try and get some of that suggested traffic. So let me save this real quick. And one of the ways that we're going to work towards that is using a Google Chrome plugin called vidIQ. vidIQ is awesome and it is free and I definitely suggest that you guys have this. And what it will do is it will show us the tags that are being used in every single video in the search. Now I believe with the free account, it will only show you like the top three. If you have the pay, then it will show you all of them. Over here to the right, it shows us what it expects there to be as far as monthly searches, which video has the highest views, what the average number of views are, the average number of subscribers for these channels, the average age, and things like that. And so we can see that this is a very, very competitive keyword. It's not gonna be something that's gonna be easy to rank for. But what we're interested in is we're gonna look at the top search keywords which is right here. Now, what this is, is basically they're taking the most common tags from these other videos and they're putting them over here so that way it's easier for us to come in and identify additional tags that work for our content and that are also related to these other videos that are currently generating views already. And we can see that a little bit further down over here with the trending views. So for example, we can see this brand new Omen skin from, Battle, from Fortnite Battle Royale. That's getting a lot of traffic right now. Same thing for this, same thing for this. And so if we wanted to, we could create a video that's similar to these, or we can find a way that we can tie that into the keyword that we've chosen and then create like a follow-up video. And what we basically want to happen is we want YouTube to say, okay, so these videos are related people are watching these other videos, people are clicking these other videos, these things are good, and so we're gonna promote it some more. YouTube's goal, YouTube's, the only thing YouTube wants is to get people to watch more videos so that way they see more ads, so that way they make more money. And so basically we just want to help them do that. 
and if our video is good at getting people to watch one video followed by another video followed by another video then they're going to promote us some more and so when it came time to pick the tags for our video these are the ones i decided to go with basically we're looking for keywords related to our main keywords so fortnite ninja fills we also have some branding keywords in here the npc for sale and then our related keywords are these are the ones that are going to help us to get into those suggested views now there are some other tools that can help you do this TubeBuddy is pretty cool here's a bit iq again this gives you some more ideas as far as other keywords that you can use especially to hit some of these trending topics and so on now once we have this part finished the next thing we want to do is we want to go over to our subtitles and our closed captions basically we just want to make sure that youtube is able to understand what's actually being said in the video and basically what we're trying to do with this is we're giving the robot a little bit more information so that it ranks us a little bit higher in the search and so that way it's able to associate our content with other content and just kind of helps the entire process so subtitles and cc are very very important your cards are going to be important we typically use cards to drive traffic to new videos once they've been released and so at this point we don't have any on here because this is literally the very first video we've uploaded to this brand new channel aside from that in order to kind of help push traffic to other videos that we want to promote or that we want to or that we know will help us to extend session times which is the amount of time somebody actually spends on youtube after watching one of our videos and then we can do that as well in this particular video we use a really great song called sell up by real big fish and so we want to kind of push people to then go and watch that video at the end so by doing that people are going to come in from you know one of these uh this ninja youtubers videos he's gonna they're gonna watch this video and then they're probably gonna go watch real big fish because it's a really great song and so that way we're forming a bit of a chain and youtube sees that and say okay people are watching this video they're watching these other videos and then they keep watching for another hour promote this video more because we want people to watch more hours now again because this is a brand new channel i don't expect to rank for anything and it'll take a little bit of time for youtube to process the video and then to start connecting it to other channels as far as our suggested traffic is going to be concerned so one of the things that we can do in the meantime is we can help generate additional traffic for this video we want to do something that's called creating view velocity and view velocity basically just is the speed at which a video requires views and so what we're going to do for that is we're actually going to take a shortened version of this video which i've already made and we're going to upload that to instagram and we're going to promote the instagram video again using the keyword report using these tags these are the 30 most popular fortnite tags on instagram so we're going to take this video we're going to use these tags we're going to upload it and then we're going to invite people to come back to our YouTube channel to watch the full version. Now, something important to keep in mind is that Instagram only lets you upload videos up to a minute long. So when you do your highlights, make sure that you are picking like the really, really good stuff and keep the videos very short. I said, if it goes over a minute, they won't let you upload it. But this is another good way you can drive traffic from one platform to the other and generate that view velocity. And once you've done that, then the video will start to acquire watch time, it'll start to acquire engagements, and it will start to rank even if you have very, very, very poor metrics or no metrics, like what we currently have up here. You can see we have a whole lot of zeros. I don't know how we got five subscribers, but we have a whole lot of nothing. And so that right, is how this works. Now, this was a really long video and I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. I hope this information has been valuable and helpful for you. And so as a way for me to say thank you for watching through to the end, I'd like to invite you guys to go out and use this information, optimize a video, especially if it's for Fortnite. And then I want you to come back and I want you to place a link to that video in the comment section of this video. And then I'll check it out. I'll look at your tags. I'll look at your optimization. Uh, we'll check your rankings. And then I'll give you some feedback and see if there's anything that we can fix or anything that you're doing really well. Now we can kind of share that with the rest of the community and you guys can grow your own channels from this. Also, if there's a specific game that you would like to get a keyword report for and we don't currently have that available on the website or in the archive, then you can order it from us. You can either do that again through the website or through our Facebook Messenger bot and you'll find links to those in the description. But that'll do it for me. My name is Tristan from GamingSEO.com. Have yourselves an excellent day and I will see you guys in the next video.